Hello friends, today I am just going to show you one small update on only Hollyhock. As I have shown you the senior area, this video will be based only on Hollyhock. Although this plant that I am showing, I have not shown you or I, I have not told you how to grow this one. But it is the same way that I have planted the one that I have planted in front of you. But one, I have planted two. One have died unfortunately due to the overwatering issue. And one is in front of you the result is amazing isn't it so i don't think that you can count the number of flowers in this one plant this is one plant one branch came from this side and one is the main branch and you can see the flowers beneath the leaves can you see so this is zebrina hollyhock and amazing flower flowering plant you should grow this one um, it is also known as French mallow and it is one beautiful flowering plant. It means I can't show you all the flowers. Can you see? Just see and be amazed. I have no words to tell you. So many many and al also the seeds. I have no space to uh, de-seed them means to deadhead them. Because it is full of bloom where I will get the uh, seed pods isn't it? So, it's a very, very nice plant. So, now I'm going to go with the update that I have planted in front of you. So, if you remember in this grow bag, I planted three. One I have told in that video that I <laughs> may, I'm thinking this is Hollyoak, but actually that was not one Hollyoak. So, I have removed it from that planter and I have stuck it in over here. So, it is another plant. I don't know what plant this is, but it's not Hollyoak for sure. So, this is Hollyoak. And the results, is in, the results are in front of you. So I'm now deleting this one. This is the color. Why I'm giving the update today? Because today uh, only one means another flower uh, bloomed and only this one is left to bloom. Although this one I have not shown you. I have sh shown you only those two. So these are the updates. You can see the growth. No extra solid fertilizer I have added. Only the liquid fertilizer that I have told you. And once I think I have added the zyme over in this. Have I added? I don't think I have added, but if it's if I have added also only one time, not more than one time, uh, that organic fertilizer. So see. So this is now at this level. This is this one is <laughs> this one is uh, more than eight feet, and this one uh, these are now reaching. So from far away, I'm showing you. So can you <laughs> compare the size? Um, so now they are growing. This one I have planted uh, during the rainy season, that is in July, and this two are in the uh, I have bought from the nursery. I don't know when they have seeded this, but just come. What to say? I can't compare <laughs> that one. So this is having beautiful flowers in it. So it is very very tall, very much taller than me and these are of my height, like the same level. So wonderful flowering plant and this one is the color of the one and this one is another color. So this one has just bloomed today, just a while ago so it is small now, I think it will grow bigger. It is also a very pretty color. Now I'm eagerly waiting for this plant to show its flower. So this is also, you can see, big, uh, largest, medium sized, smallest. So four plants I have and from next year I am going to, I think 14, means 10 more. And I am trying to save these because these are perennial in some places but um, in our place it is an annual but I will try because in our region uh, the temperature doesn't rise up more than 40 degrees Celsius so degree Celsius 40 degrees Celsius so they may survive that what to say that intense amount of summer so if they survive I'm going, definitely going to be happy it is an experiment of mine this year if they can be saved not only hollyhock but also other flowering plants not dahlia but i want to show you this dahlia today 
so before this i think i have uploaded one video today only so this was an extra video see the size of each flower and how many birds this is one plant this biggest bloom and you can see the birds they are all going to bloom so very very beautiful this one so you can go to my channel and check out the videos on dahlia also and also the hollyhock if you have not shown seen the video on hollyhock please do because hollyhock are and if you, if you have not planted the hollyhock plant before please go ahead and plant this amazing plant i have given a grow bag but it is not necessary you can means in one 10 inch pot you can plant one single plant so that will be enough for one plant since i have planted two that that's why i have uh, i think it is a 16 inch grow bag so i have planted two in the 16 inch and they are doing very well and this one is half of 16 inch uh, i think eight inch type uh, soil will be there and it is every size so do not add too much fertilizers because once Mm, you add, do not add any chemicals all the flowers that you see in my garden are without chemicals i will never say you to add any chemicals to any of the flowering plants so i hope you will like this video and okay i will see you in my next video thanks a lot for watching this video